Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at how to prevent Windows from opening up Microsoft Edge when you don't want it to. Pretty straightforward. Let's get into it. Okay, so today's video, we're taking a look at a way of really easily stopping Microsoft from forcing you to use Edge when you don't want to. Now, this means things like when you click on something in the applications where it has a Microsoft Edge opening prefix to it. Some of you have probably seen this already. If you type in Windows 11, a search for example, and in the actual web section, you click on a link. And even if you've got Google Chrome set to your default browser, it's still gonna open up an Edge. Things like PDFs, etc., will try and always open up an Edge, even if you've told them not to, and all those kinds of things. And some of those new features from Microsoft, which you click on a link and it opens up a tab with your kind of things that you like doing it will open those in Edge as well, which is a real pain in the backside. There are some limited ways around it, which seem to quite often be overcome. Every time there's a Windows update, it basically undoes all those settings. So this is where MS Edge Deflector comes in. This is a new program or newish program, which is available on GitHub, which is a pretty decent place to go. Ironically, GitHub is owned by Microsoft. So it's actually an anti-Microsoft program on one of Microsoft's sites which makes me like it even more. So let's head over to GitHub now and take a look at it, install it and show you how it all works. Right, so first of all, just to give you a kind of prefix or a primer on how it works or how it doesn't work as the case may be at the moment. So on this particular browser, I've set it up so that everything opens in Google Chrome or at least it should do. So if we do something like, for instance, if we go into the start menu here and we'll type in maybe, let's try hardware monitor. So hardware monitor, if we go over to web, and there we go, so there is a website, which in theory should open now into Google Chrome. And no, as you can see in that tab there, even though it does look very Chrome-like, we are actually in Microsoft Edge. So yep, yeah, that's definitely not what I wanted. And likewise, if we go into the news and features or the widget as it's now known, so we'll go over to our widget here, if we just click on a random link, so we'll click on that one. And again, it should have opened up into Chrome, but it seems to have opened up in Edge. Now this happens all over the place if it's things like PDFs, etc. like I said in the intro. So let's go ahead and remove that altogether. So open up a browser and head over to MS Edge Redirect. Sorry, I think I said deflect earlier on. So yes, MS Edge Redirect. Links there at the top. So github.com forward slash the username of the individual that's made the program. Big thanks to you. MS Edge Redirect. There will be links to this in the video description. So if you can't be bored to remember that or whatever, just click on the links in the video description. It'll take you to this page and you can follow along for yourselves. So this here, if you've not used GitHub before, basically tells you what all the files are and you can navigate and go through those files, open them up, see what it's all about, make sure it's all legit and all that kind of thing. Obviously, as this is not a kind of a developer or not a kind of a real program in terms of what you'd expect to find from big companies and et cetera, et cetera, this is basically a user creation. The usual rules will apply. So obviously make a backup of your system just in case. And obviously you do have to take into mind any security aspects that may be contributing from this particular piece of software. Once you're happy to carry on, all you want to do is scroll down the bottom. You can actually read some of that if you want to. And obviously as well, there is a big fat disclaimer there, depending when you're watching this, you may find that this actually is not in beta anymore. But as it says there, please note MS Edge redirect is still in beta. Changes are to be expected and performance to be improved. So you may find on certain systems and certain configurations that there may be a slight performance dip or potentially even an improvement. It is a beta product, so do bear that in mind. Now system requirements, these are the system requirements you'll need. You'll need to be on Windows 8.1 or higher, which hopefully if you're watching this channel, you should be. And obviously CPU wise memory, you don't need to have a lot free and not a lot of storage space. This can be run portably, so you don't have to install it if you don't want to. Uh, the option is up to you. So in comparison with other programs on the market, which do a similar sort of thing, you see there's Edge Deflector, which was probably one of the more popular ones. But MS Edge Redirect actually does pretty much everything all the others do plus a lot, lot more. One thing we are missing on this is uh, Windows on ARM support. So if you're using an ARM-based device, then sadly you're gonna be out in the cold for this one at the moment. Although again, depending when you're watching this, they may have actually added that. So this actually installs system-wide. So rather than being per user, etc., you can just install it as whatever user you are and anyone who logs on will be able to use it. You've also got search engine customizations, which is always a nice thing to have. 
and yeah, you can have a read through that. So essentially when you're happy, all you need to do is install the program and from the download section here, just click on the latest stable release and we'll download that to our desktop. So you can see it's an application. We'll save that. Won't take very long at all because it is a very small program file. And then what we're going to do is, here it is on our desktop, double click it to run it. And Windows has protected our PC because obviously it's not going to be on Windows Smart Screen for obvious reasons. So we're going to more info and then we can click on run anyway. And then we get the installation program. So basically, so as you can see there, basically uh, you can read through all that, but essentially it's a free piece of software under the GNU license. So accept the license, click on next, and then we can actually configure it to our own user. So essentially you can probably leave most of this as is and not have to worry about it at all. You can, if you want to, you can have it in active mode so you can do different things, etc. This is kind of the way the old Edge Deflector app used to work. But if you set it up here, you can also choose to start MS Edge redirect service with Windows and you can hide it from the system tray as default. It will be in the system tray as we can see down here. So if you want to hide it, you can do. I'm going to get it so that it starts with Windows every time. And also we've got our options here. So you can de-embed Windows Store apps if you wish to do that. You can also redirect PDFs. So if uh, PDFs at the moment are opening for you in Edge, for instance, more, you can choose where you want to do it. So you can choose maybe an Adobe program, that kind of thing, or basically any of the executables which will open PDFs. One of the ones which uh, you're probably going to like the most here is this one here, replace Bing search results with, and put a tick there, you can choose from about nine different providers there. So you've got Ask, Beidou, Custom, you can set up your own custom one. You've got DuckDuckGo, which is uh, very popular these days. And obviously you've got things like Google, Yahoo, etc., etc. So I'm going to choose DuckDuckGo to replace my Bing search results, because Bing search results are generally horrendous, and at least DuckDuckGo does give you uh, a little bit of both sides of the coin. Anyway, I digress. So we're going to click on install. There we go. Installed successfully. So in order to test it now, all we need to do is to uh, basically try it out again. So let's uh, go into our search menu again. We're going to go in here and type in hardware monitor. Oh, let's find it anyway. So let's go for web. And again, this now should open up in Edge, but it hasn't. It's actually opened up in Chrome, which is our default browser. So that has worked absolutely perfectly, and I don't see any obvious lag or anything like that. So that is absolutely brilliant. So we can close those tabs down. So let's try another one. We'll go back to the uh, the widget section, and let's uh, click on that one. And boom, there we go. It's opened again in Chrome, which is our default browser. So yep, that's worked exactly as it was meant to. So for me, that is perfect already. Quite often, I will go into the widgets thing, have a quick look, scan through the news, etc. If there's something of interest, I'm very tempted. I'll click on it just to find out a little bit more. And it's just a pain when it opens up in Edge, which I just don't like using Edge full stop, really. Okay, so there you go. Very nice, easy, simple, straightforward thing to do to remove a little bit of Bing and a little bit of Edge from your lives. I'll be honest with you, I don't know why Microsoft don't just allow us to just turn off these features. It always seems to rely on some bright spark to do it. And we're very thankful that they have. So obviously, if you do like the creator who actually made the software, don't forget to support them, donate money, etc. Buy them a coffee, whatever you want to do. All the links for the software will be in the video description below. If you've got any comments or questions on this, hit me up in the comments section below. And again, if there's anything else that is uh, coming to mind or anything you find doesn't work or any interesting little perks of this particular piece of software, please share it with the community. I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in something other than Edge. Thanks for watching.